What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we have some brand new FIFA 22 gameplay that we're going to be taking a look at. We have some amazing screenshots that you might have not seen yet. Uh, this gameplay got released a couple of days ago, so we're going to go through it today. And uh, if you guys are going to be enjoying it and want to see a part 2, let's go for 2,000 likes on this video. A brand new setup as well, face cam is here, brand new microphone, so hope you guys enjoy that. But let's get right into it, starting off with this one. As you can see, before the matches now, sometimes you're going to be seeing a brand new cuts in there of the players actually, you know, taking a look the stadium uh, before the match begins. So here we can see the PSG players. We can see Messi, Wijnaldum and Neymar there, Di Maria as well. And this is of course in Old Trafford. So they're just taking a look at the pitch at the stadium uh, before the match is going to be played, which is really cool in my opinion. This is obviously a very realistic cutscene as well. So uh, this is going to be really cool to see as well uh, when you actually get to play the game. Here we can see a bit more of it as well. There's going to be a couple of uh, different angles. Uh, you know, here the players just talking to each other and stuff. And here we can see, uh, you know, a close up here of Di Maria just taking a look around the stadium. To be honest, very realistic in my opinion. I do indeed like this a lot. Let's move over to the next one, which is going to be some brand new ratings. Here we can see Abdi Pelé, which is 89 rated there. 91 pace, 83 shooting, 87 passing, 91 dribbling, 48 defending, and 66 physical. Looking like a pretty good uh, hero card there, which obviously if it gets early into the game, is going to be amazing. Then we also have David Ginola here. 90 pace, 88 shooting, 87 passing, 91 dribbling, 55 defending, 84 physical. That is the best the hero card I've seen so far. Absolutely crazy stats right there. So, would not mind getting that guy in a pack. Here we can also see some brand new customization. This is actually for pro clubs. And as you can see, you got these American lights on the pitch. There's going to be a lot of customization that you're going to be able to do. Uh, of course, this year with stadiums, in pro clubs, of course, in creative club career mode. There's also going to be a lot of, uh, you know, options there as well of creating stadium but I do like this one here in pro clubs we can see some American lines there on the page if you want it like that but there is so much customization you can do with you know the colors the nets everything the pitch as well how everything looks like which is uh, something that we always wanted into the game so that is also a nice new feature moving over to the next one and I'm gonna be removing my face cam here because as you can see Mason Greenwood finally has been updated brand new face cam there uh, which is looking you know more realistic than what is done before let's just say that um, so a pretty nice update there for Mason Greenwood of course been heavily requested so finally now he has been updated in FIFA 22 moving over to the next one then we also have some more cutscenes this is from Mason Greenwood of course in a player career mode uh, where there's gonna be some uh, cutscenes and stuff from the dressing room I think this actually might be the man of the match trophy but I don't think it looks like that in real life um, so not too sure but yeah very nice cuts in there of Mason Greenwood and then we also have once again Mason Greenwood here but now in the stadium this is the London Stadium and what's cool about this one on next gen at least I'm not too sure about all gen but on next gen you're gonna be seeing bubbles uh, blown around in the stadium until like the 10th minute they're slowly gonna be fading away but for the first few minutes there's actually gonna be bubbles on the pitch which is really cool and we can also see them here of course uh, when the game gets started before the uh, you know before the match actually begins uh, here we can also see another uh, you know cutscene or screenshot after cutscene in the dressing room now with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uh, who in my opinion doesn't have the most realistic face in the game I think that for example Jurgen Klopp has a more realistic manager face the Guardiola as well so not too sure if they actually scanned uh, Solskjaer or not but at least here we can see him of course in the dressing room which means that we're also going to be seeing the managers if they of course have you know the uh, proper face that is going to be cool but even if you use a club with a generic manager you're going to be seeing that manager sometimes in the dressing room going around giving instructions or you know being happy being angry everything like that but of course the here you can see him smiling because uh, the team has just won so of course he seems very happy just going to quickly move over to Twitter for a second here we can see actually Soul Stars the hero card as well in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Um, so this is now official. 85 pace here, 88 shooting, 75 passing, 84 dribbling, 45 defending, and 66 physical. Being Norwegian myself, I absolutely love to see uh, you know Norwegian heroes or you know legends in the game. That is just amazing. Uh, but in my opinion, these stats not the best stats. I feel like he did deserve a bit higher. Uh, maybe on his pace a little bit. I don't know. Maybe shooting as well. 88 is a very good rating though. Uh, but of course only 86 or more rating so not too sure how long this card is actually going to be very useful for uh, because obviously when EA released these uh, you know high rated cards and stuff uh, so early into the game you know an 86 rated card might not be the best one but hopefully these hero cards are actually like juiced up like the legend cards sometimes and they actually perform much better than what their card says in game but yeah still a pretty cool card here we have the official Oligina Solskjaer rating in FIFA.
FIFA 22. Now we can also take a look at another brand new face update in the game that is Jaden Sancho. You can see him right here with a brand new face update. Of course, brand new club as well. Just moved to Manchester United. Um, so he has a brand new face update right there. Of course, the brand new care style. I think, you know, uh, his face as well has changed a bit. You know, the beard and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, there we have Jaden Sancho with his uh, new kit number as well, 25 there. So a lot of brand new face updates pretty much in FIFA 22 this year, uh, which is always nice to see. Next up then, we have some more pre-match cutscenes here. We can see, of course, the ball boys and the mascots and everything like that, which is uh, pretty cool. That is obviously a brand new feature this year for FIFA 22. Um, so that is uh, pretty nice. Of course, it's going to be some more cutscenes as well. Sometimes the players are going to be wearing training kits. I'm going to show you guys that in the part two. If you want to see that, let's go for 2,000 likes on this one. But uh, here we can see, of course, uh, the ball boys and everything like that. And here they can see uh, them running away. Uh, you know, they're holding their hands and just, you know, getting away from there uh, because the match is about to begin. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff indeed. Nice addition to the game here. We can see some faces as well. I think that Pogba actually has received a brand new haircut update. Uh, of course, he's got so many different haircuts all the time. So, which one are we going to pick? I don't know. But it doesn't seem like they've gone crazy with this hairstyle this year on FIFA 22. We can, of course, see Bruno Fernandes as well. There we have Jaden Sancho's so brand new face update again. So, that is pretty nice. And ending off, we have some brand new fit heroes. Once again, most of all, not too sure who that guy is. But 78 pace, 83 shooting, 86 passing, 88 dribbling. Looks like a pretty decent card, to be honest. But for none the more Rientes, I do remember him from uh, Liverpool. A couple of years there, which was interesting. But, of course, he's more known from the La Liga. Here we can see him as well. 84 pace, 90 shooting, 77 passing, 83 dribbling, 86 physical, 89 rating as well. Looks like a very solid hero card. So, there's obviously going to be some good hero cards this year. Of course, some of them are looking pretty useless. But, we'll have to wait and see how they actually perform in game, but Morient this year looking like a very nice card. I also just wanted to quickly mention this if you haven't seen it. Uh, Kamavinga, of course, has transferred to Real Madrid, but he has a brand new face update in FIFA 22. This year they have updated so many youngsters as well, uh, which is really great to see. For example, Curtis Jones as well, brand new face updates. A lot of these, you know, high potential players has received one. Here we can see though Kamavinga with a brand new face update and a brand new club in FIFA 22. So this is going to be a really exciting player to try out in career mode and any single mod in the next game. So that is pretty much it for this time. Hope you guys enjoyed this a brand new video. Of course, a brand new setup as well. So I'm going to be working more on this, making it even better for the next uh, video. So yeah, let's go over 2,000 likes in this one and I'll show you some more FIFA 22 gameplay or some screenshots from some gameplay with some nice details and brand new features, which uh, yeah, I think a lot of you guys will be enjoying. But that is it for now. Let me know what's your favorite thing from this video in the comment section and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.